the invitation came, you were hip deep in Lemur slime, swarmed by hell wasps, and about to drive the killing blow on a magma claw. What, what, what is this? Cutting through the dreadful buzz of the wasps and the screams of the damned, a familiar, comforting voice echoed in your mind. With us, What's happening? you requested your attendance in Faerun to gather with your friends and allies. Those who stood against the absolute at your side. A reprieve from the blood war. A few hours of respite with the stars above and good company to cheer you. Carlac's heart can take the strain of leaving Avernus for a few short hours. But it might burst with joy to see those friends again. Yeah, it's at night. Oh, she's projecting here. Thou wert called here, some from above, some yeah. below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. Oh. Oh, interesting. Hoping you'd make your way over. Is this? Hi, Shadowheart. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Honestly, so have I. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. more substantial than before less camping and scrounging off the land i take it <laughs> filled out and healthy is what i was going for don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels i'm glad you seem well trudy Wandering mostly. The adventuring life is almost a tonic when you're not constantly threatened by brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. Good. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. Okay. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents and where they came from. And where I came from, too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. Gods, your truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was I mean, yeah. for so long. Well, I know they are. I can still sense them, I think. And one day we'll be reunited. Sure. Well, I've had run-ins with my former fellow Sharons on a couple of occasions. Word seems to have spread of what happened at the cloister. Now other chapters of Shah worshippers see me as a prime yeah. target to offer That's up gonna to happen. their lady as a sacrifice. Don't worry. I know their tired old tricks better than anyone. They'll need more than a hooded cloak and poison blade to best me. Especially when I have a friend on the inside keeping me abreast of their predictable oh, little who? Oh, uh, Nocturne. None other. Yay. The matter of her faith and allegiances remains 
complicated, let's say. But she is still my oldest friend. I have hopes that perhaps she might turn from Shah entirely given time. But that's a decision she will have to make for herself. If that day comes, I'll be ready. Cool. Must I? You presume a great deal. Mm. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. <sighs> yep. I'm glad you two have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I guess. Ah, yeah. Don't remind me. Someone's always got somewhere else to This be. is an inside joke but about D&D. Let's do our best, all the same. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. Hey, Scratch! It's only a sight. Scratch can't quite speak around the thing he has in his mouth. Really? I found this. It smelled like you, so I kept it. Seemed like something you might like to throw. Mm. Oh, I've been so good. I've got a nice home in the city now. A girl named Mindy says I'm her best friend. She's mine too. Also you and Albert. I've got so many best friends. I hardly know who to play with. Yeah. I certainly have. And I always will. Forever, I think. And so will you. You know best, but a little fetch never hurt anyone, as far as I know. Okay. Oh, interesting. Hi, Albeer. Friend? Friend! You came! Big Brother Scratch, too! Happy! Yeah. Okay, I think I think the animation is missing there, but it's fine. I get the picture. Oh. Yes, miss this more. Hey. <laughs> yes, big, but Scratch is smart. Teaches me many things, like Big Brother. Widders? No. You smell very delicious. Follow smell, find you. Okay. Lots. Make friends with a turtle, a cat, a kraken. Kraken eats my cat friend, so I bite, kill. With shiny clothes, I am strong. Tired now. Want sleep? Want cave? Okay. Bear man? Mm. He is big, but not bigger than me. I like him. I go to him. Good. Now, it's good to meet again. What's this chest? Holy shit. Ah, there you are. Okay, how are you doing? Well, well, look what the Tressim dragged in. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy. Educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. Pleasure to remake your acquaintance. Mm. I did offer 
as a matter of fact. However, the black staff insisted I couldn't teach every subject, nor could the simulacra of myself I offered to create for that purpose. <laughs> so I've settled for teaching the art of illusion, magic to confound the senses, to render the impossible into reality, and to allow expression of that most magical attribute of all, imagination. Sure. I fear my students are an art teacher, basically. Intimidating due to my uh, explosive former reputation. I seem to put the fear of the gods into them. Or the fear of Mistra, to be more specific. Sure. I surrendered the crown of Carsus to her, as I told you I would. And in return, she cured me of the orb at last. Even now, I struggle to put the feelings into words. I was like exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. Of course, I haven't clarified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good, if anything. Okay. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Still, I hoped my students might be a little more open to the playful side of such magic. Oh, they try their best, of course. And they can manage to stay awake. Oh, sorry. The cheek of them. Nothing a well-placed oh. swipe from Tara can't fix, though. They found each other. Good. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? Hmm. From you, I'd expect nothing less. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. Really? You're something of a hero to them. You know? Which one? The, was it the one where you stayed in, in camp, or the other one, or the other one where you where you stayed in camp? Perhaps. I literally never sure, used Gale. Plenty of questions for you. Hmm. Well, I for one can't wait. I say with some confidence. Neither can they. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, my apologies, Tara. That would be our tower. Cool. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. But but I'm I, very curious I can't leave to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. Sure. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now, with time enough to come. Cool. That was the perfect length for that exchange. Now, there's a... Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend would be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't bother you with such things during a party. And anyway, I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. What are you talking about? You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? I, me, it's all Volo as far as I'm concerned. Perhaps once the manuscript is finished, yeah. you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll mm. sign it for you. Hmm? Ah, Jesus your success Christ. really has been wonderful for my reputation. <laughs> Fucking but con artist. Mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. Sure. Hey, Halson. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. 
But now our paths cross once more. Hmm. <laughs> Just as I hoped they would, more like. The Oak Father has been kind to me this past while. Yet I cannot forget the bond we all forged together. Mm -hmm. It is one that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. Yay, hugs. Bear hugs. It's really impressive how the characters look look each other in the eyes. That was more than worth the wait. That was more than worth the wait? Oh, I suppose you didn't mean that literally. Oh my god, he's an idiot. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. Mm -hmm. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. Who the fuck is that guy? Mm. Ah, huh. my greatest purpose and greatest reward. Those children have been through more than fate had any right to cast at them. And yet they go on as resilient as anything in nature. I impart what knowledge I can to them, yet, in truth, they teach me far more. The land we saved is theirs, and they will cherish it, I'm sure. Daniel and Oliver shall never want for friends again. Good. You are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie, I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. Yeah. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. <laughs> More than a few, I should think. At least I shall be equipped to explain the birds and the bees when the time comes. That but expression I never made that sense time to me. Is quite a while off yet. Ha. You would ask to be tucked in next. But whatever the intrepid adventurer needed, I would have been glad to provide. Stop trying to fuck me. I am all ears. Though I never cared for that phrase. A rather... Unsettling image. Mm. <laughs> you have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well, I shall not object to a night off. Now... It would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Mm. <laughs> Quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. 
What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. Uh. I spend half my days in Ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. Sure. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. It's good. As did I, but somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself, even at a ripe old age. On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Corga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. Good. Let's hope. Do you truly even need to ask? Of course. Who could not open their home to a befeathered hero of Baldur's Gate? Ah, oh, and I did promise the children I would bring them back a surprise. Oh, imagine their faces. <laughs> yeah, bye. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. Is it a bear? It's gonna be a fucking bear, isn't it? Oh, it's Ducks a duck. Are my favorite, it's a duck. But I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. <laughs> Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Hmm. Just a token to remember me by. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. Hey, Jahira. Well, now. You can make yourself presentable. What when the fuck? You, mind too. you start with the roast? <laughs> oh, forgive me. I am simply excitable. It is good to be out under an open sky once more. Where were you the whole, the whole time? My first, since the reconstruction began. We left quite a mess behind. But the city begins to look something like itself once more. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Baldurians hmm. simply get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness, civic spirit, plain stupidity. Perhaps all three, but nothing I will sniff at any longer. Okay. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Okay. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. They might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her. Again. <laughs> ah, there is still much to do. People to house, a harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city, 
But so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. Sure. For all your travels, I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Sure. The same might be said for all of us, I'd wager. But so long as our paths have thrown us together, I say we make the most of it. Now, before this night grows any deeper, I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er do well might have tampered with the wine. Okay. You do not like to talk, and I respect that. That's Lizelle. That's Will. Who the fuck are you? Milil. I don't know who that is. Revelry and community on the ah. Ah. You see, Boo? I told Boo. We are not dreaming. It is our old friend. Oh, and it is good to be seen. Oh, after so many days down in the dark, Minsk began to wonder if he was some blind bug who had only dreamed himself to be large and bulksome. You will forgive the aroma, <coughs> I hope. We were not expecting the dusty one to open a portal to our very cell. Boo had a moment to lick himself clean, but there is a little too much of Minsk to cover. Your cell? Minsk and Boo have been helping, of course. We guard the streets while Jahira is occupied with harperish matters. The Zentarum rule the city's underbelly, so Minsk and Boo went to give them a tickle. There were harsh words, battle cries, some manner of uh, head wound. Okay. We awoke in a Zentish cell, awaiting trial by noble combat. <laughs> I... Execution. Says Boo, though I am not sure of the difference. It is a He's long so walk dumb. to the gallows, and Minsk I like him, still though. has his fists, no? In ample time indeed. So long as the bone mage returns us to our cell by dawn, Boo would not be late to the bloodshed. But leave such matters for the morn. Tonight is for celebration. And the telling of tales. How have you filled your days since we tore this sticky tyrant from the sky? Uh. Without tadpoles, boo. Uh, forgive my hamster squirrelishness. He has developed something of a taste for tadpole. And is displeased by the diet I have placed him on. But no better cure than the company of friends. There is much merriment to be made before the night is done. Go and greet the others. Minsk shall make himself presentable. Ah, this pond shall do nicely, boo. Though I see no soap. So you shall have to blow the bubbles for me. He's... He's nice. He is an idiot. Wait, oh. Oh, do I still have those abilities? Only that one. Interesting. Do I know you? Oh, hello. Let me guess. You've got some suggestions about the music no, I just, choice. No, I just don't know who you are. You have no idea who I am, do you? I thought Withers might have set the stage a little. Mm. I owe him a favor. One he is eternally invoking. I thought honoring the worthy was a fair price to pay for Withers to pull me out of the fugue plane. <sighs> Alas, what the one fuck is the fugue plane? To another. Languishing in obscurity. Cyric knew what he was doing when he punished me for that song, the prick. Cyric. Before I was banished to Cyric. Duke Plain, I had song prayers coming out the proverbial ears. Guess how many I get now? 
None. Musical prayers were once offered to Menil, Lord of Song, a minor deity That's his name. whose worship faded after offending the trickster god Cyric. I'm washed up, I'm afraid. So he's a god? You. You know. <laughs> You're bloody right. It is an honor. Finally. The scribe picks an adventurer of substance, of culture. What can I do you for? Uh. Your wish is my. etc. What song do you want? Fantastic idea. It'll suit the whole affair perfectly. Ah, oh, that's exactly what I wanted him to play. Oh, this smells so God, I smell like a 70-year-old cinder. Withers yanked me from Avernus with my blade halfway through a Cambian's belly without so much as a chance at washing up. I'll forget all that. By the star's light and the moon's glow, it's so good to see you. And I've got so much to tell you. The hell hunts no mere duty. It's a thrill. The demons I've disintegrated. The devilkin I've bled. The stories I could share. Uh, I don't suppose you'd indulge me. No, go ahead. Yes, but just the one, or I'll be yammering all night. You want to hear about the Amnitsu at the sticks, the three tusked Orthon, or the invading Gorostroy? Uh. Word travels fast when a devil crosses the Delambir Vale near Daggerford. It had traveled a hell rift to a long forsaken shrine. Luckily, the trail it scorched into the frontiers was hard to miss. Okay. It led to an isle of cracked rock in Avernus, floating amid a molten sea. The Orthon stood heaving, breath like brimstone and ash. Uh-huh. And then it charged, splitting the ground with every thud so fast it left a trail of smoke. I could barely nick it, not with a blade, not with an arrow. It was the war devil's weight that proved its own undoing. Okay. The third charge it made, I struck the rock with hail of thorns. The ground split apart the moment the beast stomped onto it. The Orthon slowly sunk, howling into the magma beneath. I let two of its tusks sink with it. The third I sliced free and presented to the first Duke of Daggerford, a rare trophy to grace his walls. Okay. I wish you'd been there to join in. Oh, to battle together, just like the old days. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's my way of saying I miss you. Tonight, I toast not just the people we've become, but the people we were. Warriors, winners, saviors. Sure. I won't lie. Losing the Eldritch Blasts and the Hexes took some getting used to. Nothing but void where once there was hellfire. But so you I can acquire new abilities. In myself using the lessons my father once taught me. The blade of Avernus is a ranger, a hunter of the most hellish prey. Good. I've seen him more than a few times, and he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch. I mean, and he had to. He's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow. That cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. Yeah. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. 
He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Mm -hmm. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> cool. So good here. <laughs> how you how you doing? Oh shit. Oh my god. He wasn't kidding. Where is your mad bastard? You brought us back! <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Fucking love her. to say hi to everyone look at them the beauts rest up soldier my tin can will be all right for the night and you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months <laughs> here here enjoy it soldier you've earned it always yay hugs She's so pretty, too. Oh, she has some, some sort of uh, spell on her that, that maybe is... Blue flames! Is that, sorry, sorry, is that new? She's got a knight in her, I think. Any trouble, and I'll toddle back off to hell quick as you please. Okay. Oh, hey, before you go, I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Okay. Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I'll want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. You may remember my old friend Flo. Not sure she'll help us, but maybe. Okay. We might get to come home permanently. Maybe even sooner than we think. Cool. Um I I the only person I haven't oh, no 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 it's Where's Withers? Good song. Uh -huh, good you made and good work. Well Look who decided to turn up. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. And look at you. Straight from the hells. Still reeking of brimstone. I take it you've been having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. But try to resist the urge. I don't want to know what your clothes have been through since we last met. Although I do like the style. Tortured armor never does go out of fashion. Hmm. <laughs> Cheeky. I've been very well behaved. Thank you. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> it turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. That, that animation was really good. Yes, but you say all sorts of things. Honestly, I don't even listen half the time. It has made for a nice change, though. Inspiring hope in people instead of terror. Well, I do try to inspire a little terror. The animation is so fucking after. good. I did at first. But then I realized. These shadows. This darkness. It's all a part of me. I spent too long defined by what other people did to me. The choices other people made for me. But that's over now. This is who I am. In all my glory, for better and for worse. Okay. But that being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. Good. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. 
Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. Oh, that's so sweet. That's actually really sweet. My friend, the Hellswalker. For two months, I trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more, I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I travel through limbo. But to see your face, it brings me even more pleasure than taking a royal inquisitor's head. Limbo, she'd said. A plane of chaos where you might drink fire like water. Where you might breathe ice instead of air. And the home of the mystical Githserai. Once the Githserai were one of the Githyanki. Until bloody civil war severed them. Mm -hmm. It's nice to hear it. It's taken a dozen Gish's talents. A few stolen psi crystals. And two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Why couldn't you it, come I here say. though? I miss this place. This... Uh, Fey run. Shraktalor. What? Shraktalor. You recall the name. The capital city of the Githzerai. And the home of their immortal god king, Zareth Menya Agith. Okay. Our Gish sent word of the rebellion to Minyara Gith through the cosmos. He's agreed to parlay. Okay, good. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. Exactly the reaction I expected. What's that noise? My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor sharp edge. Sometimes a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am a warrior of the Comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlakit's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. Good. My people will be free. She's literally, she, she's literally a, 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 um. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. Yeah. Soon. When the comet has risen. When the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust. I miss this place. More to the point, I missed you. I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't keep me away. Okay. What happens now? Ooh. Hi, Withers. This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Boulder's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? Yeah. I am pleased to hear it. The satisfaction of one's intention is, to my surprise, a rare accomplishment. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. Okay. What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. Oh, that would, it would be cool if, if there were DLC. The balance of the world restored. 
The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. Is this not a teaser for DLC? It is over. Oh, no, it is. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, Love, and above all, problems worth solving. To you. <laughs> okay.
to do if we can only leave. The clock won't stop and this is what we There thou art, the dead three.
Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would this Vecna? Notice. Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls no, that would of mortals. Be insane. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bain, the whimper of Baal, mm -hmm. the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. 